What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas at their brand new location. Still putting the sign up. And we're gonna take a look at this really cool Coachman Chaparral light fifth wheel. There's a lot to like about these newer Chaparrals and I think you're gonna like it. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, before we get too much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this Chaparral is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,000 pounds, which is really shocking because the length of this unit, you would automatically think it'd be closer to like 13,000 pounds. 2,053 pound cargo capacity, and it rides on twin 5,100 pound axles. So you got 10,200 pounds worth of axle capacity. You know, it's a pretty good setup overall. Let's step around, take a look at the inside of this unit, and then we'll come back out and look at the outside. I do like that they moved to a painted front cap on the Chaparral. We'll step inside and close the door so it's a little easier to hear. Love the fact that there's Asdell on it as well. And this is the 274BH. Nice and quiet when you step inside and close the door. Let's quickly pan around this really cool floor plan. You're gonna like that when I talk about it. You have your booth style dinette here, nice. Love seat over here. This has an MSRP of $55,445 and a sale price of $43,900. It's probably a lot less than what most people would suspect the price of this unit would be. So that's actually a really good price. And this is a 2021 model. So there are possibly some subtle changes in the last year. So we'll kind of start in this area because I want to talk about this. This is the Everchill French door style 12 volt refrigerator so a lot of people have asked for a refrigerator like this for a long time mainly because the 12 volt refrigerators you typically would see would be really small but now they have a pretty much residential size 12 volt refrigerator for an rv very very cool here's your booth style dinette has little cup holders in the top pillows you have cabinets down here that you can open up and access more storage nice little power outlet right there you can of course take this out if you want you have some huge windows all the way around there's one thing the folks over at coachman like to do with their brookstones and their chaparrales is put a lot of windows and you can see that there are windows everywhere a lot of natural light coming into this unit and because this is a relatively light fifth wheel at 11 000 pounds it means there are some modern three-quarter ton trucks if you have the right payload package you know the truck with the 3,800, 4,000 pound cargo capacity, which they actually make in three quarter ton trucks now, those trucks could, you know, theoretically tow something like this. A one ton truck, you know, you shouldn't have any issues. Just be careful with your payload capacity. That's all I ask. Huge RCA TV up here. Looks to be a 55 inch TV. You have your entertainment center right here. You have a really nice little counter area right here, plus all the storage. And check out that huge panoramic 36 inch wide view fireplace. You have your Greystone stove right here with oven. Same unit we have in our Brookstone. Then you have a high point compact microwave up top. Nice stainless steel vent hood over here. Nice smooth sliding drawers. More storage underneath here. You got storage here as well. Solid surface countertops. Large stainless steel single basin sink. Nice fixtures as well. A little bit of carpet right here, but not too much. Coming back to the bunkhouse. So this is a rear bunkhouse unit and it's a pretty sizable rear bunkhouse unit. Lots of room down here. Plus you have a really nice lower bunk, which is wider. so. You could fit a couple kids back here, maybe just one larger child, older child, and then you have the spot up here as well. Plus you have tons of wardrobe space. If there's one thing I've learned about the folks over at Coachman with their fifth wheels and the Chaparral and the Brookstone is that they really want to focus in on wardrobe space. They don't want to give you this really cool room that you can't use because there's no wardrobe space to keep clothes and things like that. Very cool. More cabinets up top here. 
you know, and another nice thing is that the cabinets are all relatively deep. So, you know, you have a lot of room in here. They've done a great job with this layout. Here's your controls. It only has one slide, which is right here. So you only have one slide control right there. And then your electric awning control. This is for your leveling system. Stepping up, taking a look in the bathroom. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice frosted doors on the shower and it has a really good sized shower. Plenty of room in there. Have some towel holders over here. Medicine cabinet. Plus some storage underneath here. Just a really, really nice layout. Moving forward into the front bedroom. Has a full length queen size bed. Very nice size. A little step up right here to get up to this side, which you know some people may actually really like. And on this side, you have that same little step up. So that steps up about six to eight inches. So you actually get a fair amount of boost to get onto the bed if you need it. Plus you have your cabinets up here, has two air conditioning systems. And then you have some wardrobe storage over here. And then some drawers right below. So I do not believe this unit has washer and dryer hookups. And for some people that might be a deal breaker, but for others, they're never gonna put a washer and dryer inside of their unit anyways. If it does have them, they would probably be, no, nope, can't be back here because there's a divider between these cabinets. But yeah, there is no area to bring a washer and dryer in here, which again, some people could care less. A lot of people go through their RV life without ever putting a washer and dryer in their unit, including a lot of the big YouTube channels that you watch. A lot of the big full-timers, they don't have washer and dryers in their units. They just pick parks or go to places where they can wash their clothes if they need to. So that's always something to think about. Then you have your Furion air conditioning control up here, your thermostat. So you have two units, one right here and then one up here as well. Very cool though. Let's take a look on the outside of this unit. So again, something they're doing that's a little different is they're now fully painting the front cap of the Chaparral. It used to be a decaled or a gel coat finish, but now it's actually painted. It has a standard pin box, so it gives you room to upgrade to something, maybe a goose box. You're gonna have spots on each side for 30 pound propane cans. And then you'll have your front basement storage. Always like the fact that they've used these really thick baggage doors. Really nice aluminum bath deck up top. This step up right here is because this does not have a drop frame. The frame just shoots straight down and it is a single 10 inch I-beam frame front to back. I really like this new textured side skirting they're using now. This has the LCI solid step, flip up steps. They're putting friction hinges on their doors now, which is really nice. This also has the Ridgeway ST tires. I'm not really familiar with these tires, but I believe they are F-rated tires, if I'm correct. Oh, these are E-rated tires. It does have the really nice upgraded road armor suspension, which is really cool, along with the heavy duty shackle straps and the greasable wet bolt zerks, which is also really nice. That, big thumbs up. You have your ground control 3.0 electronic leveling system. And this is the four point system, not the six point. And that's mainly because it's a relatively short fifth wheel. Outside of your water heater, you're gonna have your speakers right there. So you can bring a TV out here, hook it up and watch cable. Opening up this hatch, another real nice thick baggage door. You see you have a sink back here. You have a Coleman cooktop. You also have a compact refrigerator. Coming around back. You have your tubular bumper, so you can throw your hose inside of there. You also have a two inch receiver on the back, so you can put like an accessory rack back here to carry around your generator, your bikes, whatever you need. Full walk on roof, all LED lighting. You have your 50 amp connection back here. Has standard windows, non-frameless. Rack and pinion slide on this side. There's a lot to like about this, especially considering it's relatively lightweight for what it is. Outside of your furnace, you have an outside shower over here as well. 
Right here you have your winterization system and all your cable connections for the different rooms and a power disconnect on this side. Honestly, from a value perspective, I've said it so many times. The Chaparral and the Brookstone are two, in my opinion, of some of the best values of fifth wheels you can buy because their pricing, I hate to say it, they've gone up just like everyone else has gone up, but they haven't gone up as dramatically and they've still tried to keep their units in a price point that most people looking at fifth wheels can afford and I can appreciate that. Even if it means there has to be some compromises because as your material costs go up, you have to raise the pricing, but it's hard not to go overboard. It's hard not to raise it too much. And I think they've done a good job here. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.